Hey, seventh graders. I just went on a big long tirade because I called you ninth graders at the start of the video instead of seventh graders, and I threw my hat off. And I was gonna, you know, just say that we need to take responsibility for our mistakes because I make mistakes, and you make mistakes, and then my buddy Brian called it and screwed it all up. So, hi, we're gonna start this over again. So, this chapter, we're talking about interactions in ecosystems. And one of the first things we got to talk about is how do we get our energy? Where, where does it come from? What's the source of it? Where does it go after we're like in the ground? Hopefully not for a long time, but what happens with it? So we need to talk about two things today. That might have been a little bison horns up. So with that in mind, sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained right now. I don't know what it is. But with that in mind, we got to talk about food chain, food web. So chain versus web. Anybody ever watch the show Home Improvement? I feel like Wilson. Can't see my face. Just my eyes. Your parents might think that's funny. You guys have probably never seen that show with Tim Allen. But going on, right here where you got this food chain. So imagine every single day you eat hamburger or steak or some type of cow for supper okay well cow eats the grass you eat the cow boom well that's not real realistic because you never unless you're i don't know howard hughes or some crazy guy you don't always eat the same thing every day i mean look at a chain it goes from link to link to link to link to link there's no like intermixing interconnected intertangled things and i'm sorry but cows eat more than just grass or Take, for instance, my dog. She eats more dog food. I mean, every once in a while, she eats her poop, too. I don't know why she just does. Dogs are dumb. But actually, they're pretty intelligent. But they do dumb stuff, kind of like humans. So in nature, things are more intertwined. Okay, This is kind of like all the community interactions going on here. So as you can see, we've got grass. We've got bugs. We've got bats. We've got frogs, we've got cows, we've got, did I say dogs? I can't remember, but there's dogs on there too. And any given day, well, there's lots of different interactions. I mean, look at us. We could eat a lot of different things, okay? We can eat frog legs, we can eat steak, we can eat um, um, dog, I don't know, in some cultures that might be okay. And Last but not least, bats. Yeah, because that's why we're in this predicament and that's why I'm talking to you alone in my garage. So with that in mind, everything is not as it seems. But just make sure that you understand that food web is more how things interact in the real world. Food chain, yeah, it works nice to go ahead and just show how it goes from one step to the next to the next. But gosh dang it, life is more complex than that. So with that in mind, you guys have a great day.